I assume that with the KH150, we can now natively control the alignment with the MA1 automatic alignment system without the need for a KH750 DSP. That would be you know, a really great advantage considering the reviews we've had of the MA1 automatic alignment system since it first came out. You know, users are telling us that they are hearing things in a completely new way. Exactly. With a KH150, MA1 can natively speak, so to say, and, and run the automatic alignment right with the speaker as we do with the KH80 DSP. I cannot overemphasize this uh, uh, enough. There's, there's really a big, big potential hidden in your system uh, that you can um, unleash, so to say, using MA1. Because typically uh, the, the imperfections of the, of, the, of the room, of the acoustic environment, is holding back even the best speakers. And uh, just a couple of days ago, I've, I've been in a, a quite high-end uh, studio in Berlin and we were trying out stuff, speakers and arrangements and stuff. And we were also testing out MA1 and the effect that it would have on the reproduction with extremely high-end Neumann speakers and in an extremely high-end environment. It was dramatic. This is, you can really not overestimate the effect that MA1 can have on your monitoring system and, and what's to gain by using the MA1 automatic alignment system. Yep. Now that you no longer need a K750 DSP to help align the speakers, do you still suggest the use of a sub with a KH150? Well, that strongly depends on your expectations, specifically on, on low-end extension. Um, I mean, a KH750 added to the KH150 will give you around another octave. If you are not happy with the 39 hertz low-end extension, um, but beware, in order to fully exploit the power delivery capa capacity of the KH150, you would actually need uh, two KH750s to, to counter that and not hold back the speaker. Yeah. I see that DSP doesn't feature in the name for the KH150 as it does with the KH80 DSP. What's happening here? A good catch that may be a bit confusing uh, to, to some, some people. Um, just the fact that we've that we have the DSP in the product is not reflected in the name. Uh, we made this um, an, an active choice uh, just to keep product names compact. And this is right now with the KH80 DSP and the KH750 DSP being part of the portfolio. There. This is creating a little inconsistency that we will have to live through for now. We know it's not perfect, but we had to make that switch at some point. 